Hi guys, it's Jez from Windows Central here, and today we've got something rather special for you, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is an exclusive world first look at Project X Cloud Game Streaming for PC. Uh, obviously, you need an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription to try it out, and uh, we've got an exclusive first look through nefarious means. <laughs> So you should take this as pre-release software. In fact, I think this app is designed for developers to test them out before they go out to the public, test the touch controls, test how the game feels running off Microsoft servers and all that sort of stuff. So let's dive in and take a look. So the Project X Cloud app for PC looks virtually identical to how the previous beta looked on uh, on mobile phone devices. You can scale the window size to any size whatsoever, and uh, you know it it all just works. And uh, as you'd expect, we have the fluent gradient across the top bar, which looks really nice. However. I do think this functionality will make its way over to the Xbox app for PC eventually. So when this goes out to the public, it might look a little bit different. We'll just have to wait and see about that. Now for this segment of the video, I'm actually getting my colleague Zach Bowden, who covers Windows for Windows Central, to uh, actually film this portion of the video for me because my internet setup on my laptop just isn't viable for xCloud. And therein lies one of the pitfalls of xCloud really. It really does depend on having ideal network conditions to run well. And thankfully, Zach Bowden down in London does have really speedy internet and a very, very uh, xCloud friendly wireless environment. Now, as we all know, xCloud is running off Xbox One S consoles in the cloud, which comes with some limitations. You're limited to 720p and that sort of thing. But on the plus side, it has all your cloud saves and all your data already stored in Microsoft systems. So you can just pull down your save files from your Xbox console straight onto your mobile device or indeed your laptop, which is really cool to see. XCloud is going to really, really benefit people who have low power PCs, low power laptops and that sort of thing. You know, people who don't have dedicated GPU, who can't run those AAA games natively on their device, XCloud is going to be for them and it's going to be pretty good judging by Zach Bowden's gameplay here. Now, while my home Wi-Fi environment wasn't ideal for xCloud, Zach Bowden's totally is, and this is running on a 200 megabyte down domestic ISP uh, package, nothing special, it's not one gigabytes or anything like that. Zach Bowden tells me that there is no latency, and it runs flawlessly, and it's totally playable. He's playing it on a Surface Pro X, which is an ARM PC, nowhere near powerful enough to run this kind of game natively without significant optimization effort on the part of Microsoft, and that kind of device is ideally what xCloud is targeting here you know any pc with a web browser could effectively run xcloud when this rolls out to the public sometime in 2021 we expect now what's particularly impressive for me watching zach's footage is the lack of artifacting even in a 3d downstream which really does slam home how bad my home wi-fi is i might have to invest in a, a bespoke router or something because clearly the router supplied by my isp is just not good enough now, another really cool thing about xCloud running on PC is that it's all the same platform as it is on Android and uh, eventually iOS in that, that it has all the touch controls. Streets of Rage has unique touch controls designed specifically for the game, which is really, really cool. And if you're running a device like a Surface, which has a touch screen, you can use it for that purpose too. And it works just perfectly. Well, that's pretty much it for our xCloud preview running on PC. Do remember that this is pre-release software, so it may look very differently when it launches to the public, but we do expect it to come sometime in 2021 because, you know, as you can see, it works already and it's pretty damn flawless. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more exclusive hands-on with Xbox goodies in the future, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and we'll bring it right to you. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.